Right, putting up masking so that we can use spray adhesive to put the front runner or lining back up, or new front runner. Out there. Yeah, no goody, it's raining again. Must be about the fourth rain shower so far. Well, you wouldn't have thought it would take so long to do that. Well, both chain plates are now on. So, mast steps on, chain plates are on. It's the mast we need to do. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, we're driving out the old rivets for the new exit box for the Jenica Halyard. Right, Granddad's got the box. Uh, we're just uh, adapting the hole for the exit box, and of course, it started raining again.
I've used the uh, 18 volt battery from the Ryobi and we've checked uh, the connections for each light and marked them. Right, well, we've joined all the wires up. So this is for the dim light. Right, well the glue filled heat shrink crimps have been heat shrunken and self amalgam tape to protect it inside the mast. Uh, put Duralac on the rivet just to give it corrosion protection against the carbon fibre. Uh, it's mono, so we should be fine anyway. Um, got another <laughs> rain squall come through, so we've retreated to the car until it passes. Oh, the rain stopped, everything's wet. There's a surprise. Right, oh, well, next job. Right, so here's the box of bits. And you can put, start putting some mop back on. Alright, the mass base pin is in. We'll leave the kicker off, or boom bang attachment off until it's on the boat. Well, between showers we've got the jib handed in. And after hiding in the car for a while, we'll pop the top end lift in. Nice new Dyneema or Spectra main halyard. Hiding from the rain again. <laughs> I the, yeah, I think it's the fourth time. Well, we've actually swapped the uh, new main halyard for the old jib halyard. They're both uh, Dyneema or uh, uh, non stretch, just the links are a bit better that way. So, we've got everything on this side of the mast. Uh, we need to wait till tomorrow to turn the mast over because we've bonded the conduit in. sun might be out but we just sheltered from another squall. Just got to get the last little bit of tough track into the mast groove. We've only been out five minutes and there's another squall coming through. Right, well we've got it in just in time for the rain. Back to the car. Okay, sun's out again. Uh, goosenecks in. Well, pin for goosenecks in. The halyards are all in apart from the one that goes past where we put the sealant in and that's it for the day tomorrow we roll the mast over finish the other side well, I've just stuck that bit of what I call front runner or lining in place Oh, let's start this bit here. Hey, voila. Well, it was uh, sunny when I left home, but uh, we've got another rain squall coming through. So we'll wait for the sun to come back out before we go to the mast. Well, we haven't exactly wasted our time. The sun has come out, but we have finished. One side. Yeah, the port side. Now we've got salty old sea dog on the go again, so we've just uh, masked up for when we use the Sticker Flex 291 uh, to bond this in. And the job now is to roll the mast over. I just use masking tape to attach the lines to the mouse.
the old master's uh, ready for its stays and then going up on Wednesday. Crane's ordered. Okay, we'll pop the hatch back in between this uh, starboard mid locker and the anchor locker. And all the slot needs to go in, but not Grandad. <laughs> no. Look, it all fits in. Grandad didn't think it would. very difficult to reach so we've got contact the heaters sprayed on the cabin side mm -hmm. and sprayed on the liner if we apply super yacht standard and it looks good from a distance well then it's perfect so this bit here is uh, come loose when it got wet when the windows were out mm. so that's the bit we just uh, stuck back up again <laughs> 